everybody, I'm Allison Cope, and welcome to the Catherine Pooler Canadian Adventure YouTube Pop. Today we're going to be using some fun, brand new Catherine Pooler products today, featured in the O Canada bundle over in the Catherine Pooler shop. Today we're going to be using some of the O Canada stamps. Isn't that cute? Lots of uh, traditional icons having to do with Canada. And of course, there is a coordinating die set that goes with this for purchase. We also have the brand new Forever Maple Stencil. This one is featuring a whole bunch of cute little maple leaves and the brilliant pairing of the Forever Maple dies. And this die will cut out a section of your stencil. So brilliant. Also included in the bundle is the super cute Moose Crossing 6x6 pattern paper pack. You get three pattern papers of each, and there's a wide variety of different prints, plaids, and some very brightly colored pattern papers, all featuring Catherine Pooler die colors. Isn't that a cute stripe? Including some bears and some wood grain. And this paper pack contains all nine of these colors, so you can coordinate them with your CP inks. Let's get started on our project. Before we get started, I just wanted to show you that this, the Forever Maple die, does coordinate with your Forever Maple stencil. There is a etched title right at the bottom here, so you know kind of where it goes, and your dies will have some kind of mark to indicate the top of the stencil. And if not, you can very easily just flip over your stencil to the non-etched side and just know that you can line up your dies quite easily by doing that. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start my card today by die cutting our cute little forever maple dies out of a piece of Catherine Pooler cardstock. And then we're going to use our stencil and make a background. To begin our stenciled background, I have taken my die cut piece and I have taped it to another piece of our Catherine Pooler work cardstock. And then I'm going to line up my stencil exactly within those die cut voids. And this will just help me put it in the right spot. And then I'm going to attach the stencil down on one point. I'm going to carefully flip it up and I'm going to remove my die cut piece and then we're all ready to stencil. Okay, let's go and find some ink. Next, we're going to apply our Glitz Rock and Red and Cranberry Fizz inks with our Cap Catherine Pooler brushes. I'm just going to concentrate my ink in our six central maple leaves. Next, I took my panel and on the back side, I applied a window sheet or a piece of acetate and adhered it down with some nice sticky adhesive. Then we're going to apply some 3D foam strips all around the edge and you have to make sure that everything is closed. I'm just going to add just a few to the inside just to stabilize everything so the card doesn't flatten. And they won't be too much of a nuisance because we're going to put some fun sequins below to make it a shaker card. So I have taken the backer paper off of all of my foam tape and I do this first so that hopefully I don't get uh, too many sequins stuck to my foam tape. And we're just going to sprinkle some Crater Lake sequins in. There is some gorgeous Yukon sequins to go in the O Canada bundle. I just don't happen to have any today. 
There's our crater link. And then of course you want to make sure that your pattern matches up. And then you're going to carefully lay that backer right onto the front piece and give it a quick press. And you have an instant shaker card. Let's add some details. Next, let's add some moose crossing pattern paper. And I chose the yellow arrows. And we're just going to apply a little bit of adhesive across our strip. And I just cut our strips this time just fat enough so that they didn't cover up our cute little maple leaves. Okay. Then I'm just going to press it into the corner, make sure that my edges are lined up. And across the bottom and then I'm just gonna give it a quick trim and there we go our Canadian themed card wouldn't be Canadian without putting some of our famous icons on it and I have to use this adorable beaver and it's a two-step so you have your base image and then you can put a little face on them because that's adorable. We're going to use some of the coordinating inks today. We're going to use over coffee, which is also in the Moose Crossing 6x6 pack. I'm going to give him a good dosing, a quick press, and voila, we have a cute little beaver. And if we want to add a little bit more dimension, let's use some s'mores ink and we're going to give him a little depth. So we're going to use our s'mores ink this time. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some dimension to his bum. So we're just going to dab on a little bit of our s'mores kind of up his back and at the base of his tail. And you can use your brush to soften that ink application just by tapping it. And all you have to do is press. And you can already see we've got a little bit darker across his back and at the base of his tail. And you can do this until you're happy with your design. So let's see if we can add just a little bit more darkness down under his bum and to the base of that tail. And that brush application gives it a nice soft and smooth gradation of color. So he looks like he's shaded. Let's add his cute little face. I've positioned our cute little face for our beaver. Pick it up with the Misty. And then I'm gonna use our fabulous Midnight ink, which is Dark black ink by Catherine Pooler. Lightly dab on. And let's do it one more time to make it extra dark and crisp. And there is our cute little beaver. Let's stamp out a few more icons. Let's start with our cute little heart Canadian flag element. And I'm going with good old rock and red because it's the closest color to our flag. And let's go one more time just to darken that ink up. And there we go. So cute. Let's do a hockey stick. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these things, but let's just have fun stamping them out. So let's stamp out our hockey stick and our Mounties hat. We're going to go a little bit later with our color here. We're going to go with our sand castle. There we go. Good press always love the quality of the CP inks. Now let's make our mounty hat and our hockey stick a little bit more shaded too. So let's bring in our over coffee which is a little bit darker and we're just gonna add just a tiny bit at the bottom of the hockey stick and we're gonna go kind of both sides of the hat and again just a couple of taps and you can layer upon layer if you want it to be a little darker. Let's go a little darker. And 
And if you think you have a little bit too much ink, just dab it with your brush and it will come off. This one is, in, is a little bit more subtle, but the hockey stick's a little bit better on the shading. All right, now we need to add that piece to the center of our Mounties hat, which is a second step process part of the stamp set right there. Let's stamp the detail on our hat. We're going to go s'mores, a little bit darker. A traditional Mounties hat is very light tan with a little bit darker strapping on the top. And I've also got our cute little maple syrup container. Let's use some fabulous glitz to match the background of our card. There we go. Let's add one more layer of color. Ta-da! And again, let's shade this one as well, just a tiny bit, and let's go right back to our neutrals again, our sand castle, and we'll just put a little bit of color down one side. And I didn't bother to clean my stamp, just because I knew I wasn't going to contaminate my lighter glitz colored pad. There we go, has a little bit of shading too. I took all of my images and cut them out with their coordinating dies. Here's the hockey stick, our cute little beaver, our Mountie hat, our cute Canadian flag heart, and finally our little maple syrup bottle. And they're all ready for my card. So I've taken my die cuts and I think I know the positioning of everybody. And we're going to glue everything on the card front. Let's start with our little maple syrup container. I'm using Barely Arts glue. This is my number one liquid adhesive to use on car making. And I'm okay that we're covering a couple of our maple leaves because we can still see quite a few on the top. Let's actually glue the hockey stick to this little guy's hand. So we'll put him down first. Don't need a lot of this stuff. But it's always good to get it on there. We'll put the little beaver. That looks good. Little press press. Okay, let's put on his hockey stick. We're gonna put it across his little paw. And there we go. We'll put it just past his cheek there. We'll just press that down, hold it just for a second. There we go. And of course we have to put on his Mountie hat on his head. And we're covering up his cute little ears, but that's okay. And then we gotta put it on lopsided cause that's just the way he's looking. Give that a press and our final little detail, we're going to go with our heart. We're just going to kind of put it towards his tail here. There we go. And one last thing, we need a sentiment. Not only are we going to add a sentiment, but we're going to add a little maple leaf to our bottle. I think it needs a little something. So I have got our sentiment of A, what great news, and our cute little tiny little maple leaf there and let's use some rock and red for our fun sentiment and our little maple leaf stamp those out and i'm going to cut out our sentiment with the sentiment banner die it's a cute little die that actually adds a little touch of stitching detail and i love it Let's add our last couple of elements here. A little bit of glue. I'm going to use tweezers for this one because it's an itty bitty. And we're going to add that. And then we're going to take 
our long strip and I purposely added it kind of towards the end of the die and we're just going to add it kind of towards the top here and just making sure that it's kind of lined up straight and then a little trim job and here's our final card featuring the O Canada bundle by Catherine Pooler I am the last person on the hop today if you'd like to go back to the beginning please see the description below for a link for that and if you'd like to purchase any of these products that I've used today I'd appreciate if you'd use my affiliate link also in the description down below. Thanks for hopping along with us today and have a great Canadian adventure. <music>